What size toothbrush should I use? There are different sizes? Yes. It's important to use a toothbrush that fits your size mouth. So when we're smaller, it's important to use a smaller size toothbrush. If we try to brush our teeth with a larger size toothbrush that doesn't fit in our mouth very well, it's going to be more difficult to reach the areas where plaque is hiding. Remember, using a smaller size toothbrush makes it easier to reach way back where plaque is hiding on your teeth. Also, notice that electric toothbrushes that are made for adults always have the smaller size heads on them because it's much easier to get plaque off our teeth when we use a toothbrush that fits in our mouth nice and easy. What are some healthy foods you can enjoy? Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, things filled with protein like eggs and nuts, and dairy products like cheese and milk are all great healthy foods for your teeth. Ruthie Lauren says, Bacteria can't make as much acid from healthy foods. Another important thing you can do to take care of your teeth is drink lots of water. Water has no sugar. Water washes food and acid off of your teeth. And water gives you energy and helps us grow. Visit the dentist every six months for a checkup. Let's talk candy. Bacteria love living in a sugar-rich environment. They grow in numbers and can make more acid when there is more sugar. Sour candies are very acidic and the acid eats away at the enamel of your teeth. Sour candies are some of the worst candies for your teeth. Chewy and sticky candies are also very harmful to teeth. Toothy Mare says chocolate is a much better choice than sticky, chewy, or acidic candies. Chocolate melts away without sticking to teeth. The Power of Sour this is the tooth of an 11-year-old boy with severe erosion from chewing and sucking on sour candy regularly. What you can do. Limit or stop eating sour candies. Don't suck or chew candies for long periods of time. If you eat sour candy, drink milk or eat cheese afterwards to stop the acids. Drink water after that. Chew sugar-free gum. This produces saliva, which protects your teeth. After eating sour candy or other acidic foods or drinks, wait one hour before brushing your teeth. Brushing right away increases the harmful effects of acid on teeth. Talk to your dentist about eating candy. How much sugar is in one bottle of orange soda? Let's do the math. Four grams of sugar equals one teaspoon of sugar. So if there are 80 grams of sugar in this soda, we divide that by 4 to find out that there are 20 teaspoons of sugar. What does that look like? 20 teaspoons? Children 7 to 10 years old should only have 25 grams, or 6 teaspoons of sugar a day. The amount of sugar in this soda is more than 3 times greater than the amount they should have in a day. I'm going to count out 20 teaspoons of sugar. teaspoons of sugar. It's important to know how much sugar is in the things that we eat and drink, but don't forget to look at the serving size. This bottle of soda has two and a half servings. With 31 grams of sugar per serving, let's calculate how much sugar that is. 
31 grams of sugar times two and a half servings equals 77 and a half grams of sugar. Divide that by four and that's almost 20 teaspoons of sugar. Beware of sports drinks. Sports drinks contain sugar and acid which can lead to cavities. Water is good for everyone. Toothy Kathy says, remember our bodies are about 70% water. When we exercise, we lose water by sweating. Drinking water is how we stay hydrated. Water is the way to go. reading labels of sugary cereals. How much sugar is in one serving of cereal? Look at the nutrition facts on your cereal to find out how much sugar is in it. On this label, one cup is equal to 12 grams of sugar. Divide 12 by four and that tells us there are three teaspoons of sugar per serving. Toothy Lauren says, that's half of your total sugar for the day. Watch out, these bowls have more than one serving. Does a one cup serving of cereal look like the picture on the cereal box? No. Be aware of how much cereal you're actually eating. If you're eating more than a serving size, you're eating more than 12 grams of sugar. What are some sneaky healthy foods? Sometimes we might think a food is healthy for our teeth, but it isn't. Like dried fruit. Dried fruit is sticky and contains a lot of sugar, so it's very harmful to our teeth. Smoothies can be a good healthy snack if you're making them at home with fresh fruits, but if you're going somewhere to purchase that smoothie, chances are it's made with sugar-filled fruit syrup. Juice contains a lot of sugar. Beware of juices made from citrus fruits because they contain sugar and acid. Fruit snacks are very sticky and stick to our teeth, so they can be harmful as well. Health drinks be careful how much sugar is in there, check the label, and sometimes they even add acid too. Diet soda doesn't have sugar, but it contains acid, and it's just as harmful to our teeth as regular soda. Beware of granola, because usually it has dried fruits that stick to our teeth. Sometimes granola bars have as much sugar in them as a candy bar. And be careful to notice how much sugar is in the yogurt that you choose. Some yogurts are loaded with sugar. Make sure you choose a low sugar alternative. We need to protect our teeth. Our teeth are tools which help us talk, chew, and smile. We need to make sure that we're not doing things that can hurt our teeth. What are some activities that can hurt our teeth? Opening things with them, chewing on pencils, chewing on ice, having drinks loaded in sugar and acid, or tearing open packages. As you get older, stay away from using tobacco products. Studies show that smoking, vaping, and chewing tobacco can lead to early tooth loss and gum disease. That means you're more likely to lose your permanent teeth. We don't want that to happen, so make sure to protect your teeth. Do you play sports? If you play football, baseball, soccer, karate, or any sports with other people, you may need to wear a mouth guard to protect your teeth. Ask your dentist about using a mouth guard. Mouth guards protect your lips, tongue, cheeks, and reduces chances of chipped or broken teeth, nerve damage to a tooth, or tooth loss. Step one, use a bit of toothpaste. Not much, a pea-sized amount will do. Step two, start brushing your back teeth and molars. Brush the outside of your upper and lower teeth. Hold the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle. Movements should be gentle and short. Brushing the teeth from top to bottom and from bottom to top. You could also move the toothbrush in small circular motions. Step three, 
Brush the inside of your upper and lower teeth. Remember to reach and clean back molars too. Step four, brush the chewing surfaces with back and forth motions. Step five, now you should clean the rest of your mouth. Brush gently inside of your cheeks and your tongue. Step six, spit out any excess toothpaste and rinse. Thank you.